myself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jenny's getting her coffee. I'm starting in. I got to put this out there right now. We're starting to film this barncast number nine. I'm in a fucking horrible mood. I've been in a horrible mood for a day and a half. A year, she says. <laughs> I just spilled more coffee for making fun of you. This is what's happening to me. The karmic wheel spinneth fast and swift. I mean, I'm such a little baby bitch earlier. I was like, I don't know if I can film the barn cast. I'm really upset. I'm really still upset from our fight last night. I don't know if I could do the cast. I think I need my diaper changed. I need a bot. Hi. I know you've all been waiting for me. Um, if we were filming a movie on set, as they say, we would have to go on air and do it regardless of how much we disliked each other for the day. <sighs> no, sweetheart. I don't dislike you. No, I'm just you. kidding. Um, do, you, do you dislike me? No. Uh, <laughs> number nine. Hey, welcome to the Barncast. Nine. Number nine. Number nine, nine. Barncast. Number nine. It's a rainy day. I feel like my hair's a little flat. I do feel like my bones ache a little bit more when it rains. However, I find that it's easier to work and sit at your desk at the computer when it's raining out. I feel that uh, it's much better. This is what I came up with today. That's great. I was told by a friend that I don't look ex actually like I look on the barn cast. So I want to know what that means. Yeah, she said, oh, you don't look I, like that. Because I said like, Don't yeah, worry, you don't look like that. <laughs> the lighting's a little weird on like certain lines in my face, you know, just being stupid and vain. And then my friend said, well, I watched it and like, I, you don't look like that. So she was trying to be nice, and God bless her, but what I heard was she like, basically smashed you don't look as awful ground. as you look yeah, on no, the barn supposed cast. to say, it's like, no, you look great. Like, what are you talking Even about? Even if you it's think fun. they look like shit. I mean, unless you've really, you know, it's are strung out. If you don't have anything nice to say, make up a lie and what tell them if that. If you don't have anything nice to say, hang out with me. <laughs> <laughs> what? I what does like that mean? Meaning. Oh, you mean if they did, they'd have something nice to say no. eventually. No. Oh. I mean, if you don't have anything nice to say, hang out with me because I'm going to sit there and talk shit with you. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, I think she even says that in Steel Magnolias. Like, you know, is come that sit like next that, to me if you don't have anything. Is that the movie with, um, with uh, Hugh Jackman and the robots? No, that's Steel Fist. Take two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> List, I looked at the computer today and I just slumped. I go, oh, God. Well, okay. everyone has those days from time anything. to time. And it's, I can't it's edit fine. anymore. Everyone What's feels the sorry point? for themselves, and you just have to get up and go. I'm not sure I feel sorry for myself as much as I'm upset about everybody else's behavior. Right. That's true. Usually it's always everyone else, not <laughs> us. But the only icing on the cake for this week is the fact that... It's much more than one piece of icing. I know. I'm just kidding. But Nick and I went to... Um, to solve more of our problems, we decided that we're going to get... Uh, Two goats, maybe three no, goats. Actually, I've been having dreams about this Nigerian Go to the of the dwarf family. notes. That's the Look at the goat family. Goat babies. So we went to um, the Hokahe Farm, which is yeah. a beautiful farm. I'll Love plug them. them. They're not our sponsors, but I'll plug them. We'll plug them anyway. And beautiful farm, wonderful goats and a mule and chickens. And you get down, I, I you bend down, and the goats just come up and <laughs> and, and kiss you, and they don't care. They have beards. They don't plug them. Um, no, but we fell in love with these goats, and we're ready. If our goats get one of them long beards, we got to put, like, hippie beads and, like, national Well, apparently the females, just like us, just like human females, have a few little tufts. Yeah, but then we should themselves. adorn them with the baubles, bangles, and such. Right. Well, anyway, this weekend they're supposed to have babies, so Nick and I, uh, who knows, you might see some film at the farm eventually, but we're going to go and pick out some babies, and then when they're ready... Um, to leave their moms in a few months, we're going to bring them home. And then they'll be performing on the barn stage. And then the we will week. be reporting out by the shed yes. with goats the and The goat chickens. report. The goat report. I love that. Yeah. Well, my good mood, it lasted exactly two and a half minutes. No, I love doing this with no watch. You ever do that? People are like... Oh, yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah, I'll I be like right that, there. And I like using an imaginary phone. Hey, what's up? Rita, get me Mr. Peterson. 
I also want to mention that um, for the past couple of weeks, we weren't at this table, and we got a lot of calls and write-ins. That <laughs> 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 I mean, the phones were ringing off the hook as to people wanting us back here. So we're back here by popular demand. Because we'll do for you what that's right. you need. And that's why vote for me. Has it, does, and can anybody else notice what's different about this podcast? What's a first today? Hold on, hold on. Your hair is down. Oh, no hat. No hat. Like uh, no, swag. I'm depressed again. So aside from everything else you should write and call in about, we want to... Um, you can send it right here to 17 Main Street. We would like hats. Yeah. Any kind of baseball hat that you think, or any Hand hat. Handwritten note. Handwritten note as to why this hat should be with us, why it's so special to mm. you. And you want to put a little LSD in the brim? That would be fine with me. That's at this fine. Point. A mushroom. Uh, you know, LSD was was developed for mental health. I know. Well, that's why people are microdosing That's why I now. ate some about an hour and a half ago. Every Shout week. out to our sponsors, sponsors. Farmer's Wife in Farmer's Ingramdale, New York, <laughs> Chef <laughs> Joe, <laughs> and we get the most wonderful preserved kumquats, and we put them in the farmer's old-fashioned here. Well, not only just two yeah, current sponsors. The other one is Chestnut Woodworking and Flooring Company, Gina Chestnut and Chestnut Bob. Antique Flooring. Antique Flooring. Chestnut Woodworking and Antique Flooring Company in Ken, New York, with Chestnut Bob and Gina Olson. Before we do that, I did want to go back and play a clip from last weekend. I want to play oh, that. Yeah. We uh, had that some uh, great shows. That, cra that one with the Jane dancing. Oh, the yeah. The dance clip. Yeah, yeah. This past hey. weekend, keep uh, an eye out for a band called Wild Leak River. They're so good. And they are playing Supertone in a few There's, weeks. Yeah, they're playing Supertone in a few weeks. Um, we love them. We do love them. These are great guys. The lead singer, Ian, has a voice like beyond, like Merle Haggard, like a true, authentic country singer. So check them out. We're going to have them back. Go see them at Supertone. And here's a clip yeah. with one of our beloved patrons dancing, who's Mr. Dance. Let's Mr. rock Berkshire the clip. Dance. Roll the clip. This job I've got is a little too hard.
Oh, I went for a mammogram yesterday, everybody. How'd that go? Make sure you go. Ladies. Ladies, make Amen. sure you're going. Everybody go. And I went, and it's not a big deal. I got to say, I would go to the mammogram place every day if I never had to go to the dentist again. But men, man boobs can rot from cancer, too. That is true. Not as common as uh, women breast, women's breasts, but men should be checked out, too. I think I a had man with a man boobs that gets man boob cancer is, a, I mean, I, my heart goes out to him, but it's... No, it's makes terrible. I actually know someone who had it. It's what? Ter- yeah, a man with man boobs? Yeah. Well, not Did with man boobs. Did he have regular boobs? boobs? No. Just a regular pectoral muscle? To, yes. And he still got doing tit fine, cancer. But yes. Um, anyway, I went in and it was a joyful experience. No, it wasn't. But I did have a spark plug of a gal there talking about shows at the Agramont Barn as she was no. um, shoving them in. Can you, it'd be great if now we could just walk into like a, a booth. Yeah, do they have, have to the put your tits thing. in a vice and bombard it with radioactivity to find out if you have cancer? I know. And it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't hurt that bad. It's just uncomfortable. And then there's conversation and then you don't know where to put things. And But it's, it's really not that women. big of a I've deal. I've heard women who had big knockers say that it was painful. Right. Well, for women who are less fortunate than that, we don't. I have to go through any pain. That's what we get. Be the host of a new show. Yeah. Well, they do have Berkshire that. I remember, didn't, that, didn't they have that? Oh. Berkshire's Got Talent. Yeah, but not that. I want it like here and cool. I'm sorry. I think uh, I think like a like a groundhog that had a tambourine one. Shows this week. Hey, this let's talk about this week's entertainment. I'm oh wait, first of all, so because <laughs> Saturday is the fourth, right? And we're jumping ahead a little bit. Yeah. We're gonna go back over the schedule, but the fourth is. May the fourth be with you so with the transmitters. For those Star Wars headies, so we may be Trekkies. throwing in some Star Wars. Sh- that's not. That's I know Star it's not Trek. Trekkies. That's really upsetting. Star Walkers. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? They're called Star Wars fans. Or nerds. Or mega nerds. Right. Or just like me, I, hey, I like Star Wars, but what I don't like is that we'll come back to Star Wars. But, but also big we may Star be Wars. Throwing some Star Wars. And shit also write in or call your favorite, uh, who you relate to the most. And I'm interested if I use the Star Wars footage for a little commentary, like we're going to do in a bit when we work through my problems and Yoda and I yeah, get yeah, into yeah. it. No, and we're going to do a little good. mix up. I think. I wonder if who they're going to bust relate, us. Who do you relate? Oh, they might. Who do you relate to? The most, like who's your Star Wars spirit like, animals? Like the, I have a few. Like the 350th stormtrooper that gets shot in the head with a laser and the ice and dies, basically. That's no, my um, my Star Wars spirit animal is got to be the Emperor today. It's by the day. Today, I feel like true. the Emperor. Okay, um, that's good. I, uh, see, I can see that. Be, but only the Emperor when he's being thrown in the fiery pit by Darth Vader. Remember when he Darth and he's zap, he's zapping yeah, Luke. They, yeah, he's like. <laughs> and the fake Let me lightnings tell you something. going around Luke him. is the worst. He's the worst. I'm sorry, but he is. But then you see Vader. He's looking. He's looking back at the Emperor. He's looking at Luke. His poor son is being raped by lightning. Yeah. And then he picks him up and he yeah, 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 him. yeah. Ah! And it's a great moment. That is. Yeah. So I feel like the Emperor on the way down today. Okay. I, 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 I feel um, a mix. Akbar with the. That's Which what one I look is that? like. I don't know. Want your ship? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the guy with the big bug eyes. I do, Admiral I Akbar. do, I do, I do. Love Akbar. I'm going to say I'm a mix between. A race of action! <laughs> Yoda. Okay. And my C3PO and Han. I just love Han Solo. I would rather be Han Solo and, than. Um, do you have a favorite Han Princess line Leia. from the show? Nobody wants to be Leia, let's face it. I think it. some people do. Well, they should watch out because she died on pills in her 50s. Just saying. Carrie Fisher was a great and woman. Look, but up. I still just prefer. Yeah, and on some days, if I don't shave, Chewy. But <laughs> but I don't. It's not. Not really. More so. 
Get the phone. Cool. Everyone stop. Bring it over. I think there's I think they're watching it. Oh no, we're not live. They can't be calling in. I hope yeah, it, how can I help you? I hope it's a complaint. Oh, an authorized representative for sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Hold on. Uh, my name is uh, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Hi, are you the business owner? Uh, well, I'm not the business owner, but I'm his sex slave, and I live in the basement. Nothing. She didn't I, st I, st I went too far too quick. Right. Was that a real person or a robot? They were trying to verify our <laughs> listing. Now it's going to be unverified. Oh, Nobody's no. ever coming again. Ooh. Nick, why did you do that? Okay, anyway, so this week's shows are great. Right. Uh, this Thursday is a um, artist, Nels Andrews. Yes. And he's a singer-songwriter. It's a doubleheader. It's a doubleheader. Nels Andrews and he's Sarah great. Grella. And Sarah Grella, who was in an amazing band called Novel Ideas. They are no longer together. They're from Boston. She has an amazing voice. She really does beautiful harmonies, and this is her first solo show. Yeah, she's branching out. She's, she's uh, what do you call it when you go out on your own? You venture out. Yeah, she's venturing out on her own. I think she might be coming with um, a guitar player. But anyway, we're really looking forward to this, and you should check her out. And for any Novel Ideas fans out there, but we, we will show that. But if you a Nels come, Andrews clip. Yes, we should will. Should we do that? He's great. Yes. Great. Roll the clip! It's a pretty good road It cuts through pastures framed in cottonwood And all this paradise is Sucked the raging river dry In a second floor apartment Filled with idle hands, whittling devil's wood Was someone playing my might have been so well I'm glad I never tried Riding through my hometown, when it was It's a pretty good road It cuts through pastures framed in cottonwood And all this paradise is Sucked the raging river dry In a second floor apartment Filled with idle hands, whittling devil's wood Was someone playing my might have been so well I'm glad I never tried Riding through my hometown When it was Grudges lay like open paws, resting in the sun. You're careful not to look them in the eye, in the eye.
I'm riding shotgun in my brother's car Laughing at the foolish ones Once they were homecoming kings and queens Now they're choking on suits and ties It's great. I love that twang, that twangy twang. Yeah, no, he. What were those people doing up great. on the on the window? They're like windows of the world. Looked almost dangerous. Y- yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, I just don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I hate that. Woo! I couldn't that. And then Friday night is. Uh, and Friday night, very excited to get here for the first time. Yep. Johnny Arian. First Arian, time at the barn. He's going to yep. be playing with a Wes Buckley and, and Brian the Cantor. great Brian Cantor. Yep. Uh, Everyone loves Johnny. I think this is going to be a, a big hey, show. Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. So let's play a clip from Johnny Irian. Yes. Cabin Fever. Hey, roll the clip. Ben-
we've got a great letter this week for Dr. Jones. Uh, it's time for Ask Dr. Jones, everybody. All right. Remember, so, you can write in to us and ask questions yeah, write of Dr. In Jones. He is a licensed mental and physical health professional. Oh, he's wonderful. And He'll he, always set you straight. He'll always give you good advice and s- just he's really great. set it right. What's this well, one? Let's see. This, I have what's my this letter one's right here. Week? Oh, this letter. is a great one. Okay. Dear Dr. Jones, I've been really worried about the end of the world lately. Me too. Causing me a great deal of stress. Nick too. How do I get my ducks in order? And what should I say for this doomsday to come? Sincerely, Ravi from Minnesota. Yeah, Ravi. Oh, that's... I, I relate. I mean, I, I think that's what's going Ravi's on. Can I have Ravi's email? I'd like to talk I to will. him about this. I, I ju- yeah, you should bond. Everyone should bond about the end of the world. But this is, I think, stress that's happening in a lot of our lives and what exactly we should save for it and what we need to do for that end of the world time. All right. Well, maybe Dr. Jones can help Nobody us out. Nobody better positive. than DJ can help with this. Dear Ravi, whenever I hear anybody talk about the end of days, I must admit it gives me a chuckle. Why? Because it's the ultimate example of closing the barn door after the horse is long gone. By the time anyone starts thinking about getting their ducks in a row, that ship is long sailed, right off the edge of the flat earth. Now let's define what I mean by this. You're obviously not talking about getting your affairs in order with things like a will, etc. Any ambulance chasing lawyer can do that for you. No, what you're talking about is your eternal soul, getting right with the Almighty. Or, if I may be so bold as to infer from your name, whatever cow-worshipping deity you people are currently pretending exists. If I'm not mistaken, your ilk believes in reincarnation. I can wholeheartedly understand why you'd be worried about this. Since you haven't given any thought to your worthless soul up until now, there's a good chance you're going to come back as something truly horrible, like a bicycle seat for a senior spin class, or that hose they use to clean septic tanks, or even a dentist. Ravi. Instead of worrying about the ungodly, horrendous eternity that surely awaits you, my advice is to enjoy the time you've got left. Get yourself a fine automobile, head to Las Vegas, get yourself a suite, find yourself some hooahs, and max out every credit card you can get your hands on. It's much too late for redemption, so have yourself a blast and rage against the dying of the light. It's a lifestyle we should all learn to embrace. Sincerely. With all due respect, my friend, and certainly not yours, Dr. Jones. Dr. Well, Jones. That, well that, that didn't help. But thanks, Dr. Jones. Thank you. That was great. He pay, if, it's, if you're getting high in here, it's because he did a bunch of, we had to paint something over there. And no, I, I, I know. I, I was huffing when I first walked in. So Saturday night. <laughs> no, so the transmitters. A great project featuring Rob Sanzone, Miles Lally, Sturgis Cunningham, and Joe Rose. And uh, and we're not really sure the level of thematic. With the Star Wars with theme. With Star Wars, I'm but we're hoping sure for Max. I'm sure there's a Star Wars theme. But they're and they great. better play the Cantina song. You know what? Let's go to the Cantina song right now. Can- Look at this guy. Oh, see, that guy's got like four eyes. This looks like the barn most nights. <laughs> there are a lot of similarities between the Cantina and the barn. Well, there there you are. I just always thought Luke was a little bit of a puss. He is a puss, and he's got buck teeth when he looks close. <laughs> and now he looks busted up. And Hamill? Oh, hey, look at me. He looks like a badger or something. Although sometimes... That little flip. Look, there I am. Oh, look, it's Rick. Oh, there I am. Uh, there I there. am. Oh, there it is. Lucky five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> There you are, back. See, I do oh, relate to Obi Wan a lot. Oh, you are Alec Guinness, hands down. You're Obi Wan. I know the whites. No, but you really are. Is that Andy Kaufman in the front down there? <laughs> Wait. Look at it. There you are. There's that. Alex. There's there you what? You're a droid. Oh. 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 Three. See, this is racist. The robots got to leave. They can't be in. That's droids not allowed. Yeah, yeah, that is. That shit wouldn't happen here. Droids are welcome in the barn. All droids. Everyone's welcome here. And here he is. Does he have a pig nose? No, that's the other guy. Oh God, I think that's. That uh, looks like George Shudan. The guy who does that looks our. Looks like uh, Blue Coyote. A little bit. Uh, uh. Drunk. This really does look like the barn. Oh, it is. I mean, hands down. We have intergalactic so we visitors all the time. Oh, oh look at that. Fights. Wolf versus worm. The hammerhead. I always loved hammerhead. And I had a hammerhead. Uh, I had a little hammerhead. Yeah, I got a hammerhead too. Come on, speed it. Let's get to it. They're having like a private combo. 
Oh, here he is. Yeah. Look at Walrus face. <laughs> Looks like Jeff Goldblum in The Fly. It actually no, does. No, you're definitely Alex. Yeah, there Dennis. I am. There I am. I don't like I you don't either. I don't like you either. You just watch yourself. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's like when people talk too loud during a show. I'll be careful. This is what happens. Look what happens here. It's true. This little one's no good. Uh, see? Very disrespectful. Come, let me get you some. Oh, God. Uh, boom! Oh, no. oh, that's got a smart. A zip! Oh, God. Look, he's on it. Uh oh. Oh, no. He's going to need a manicure. Oh, no. That's we don't terrible. Even have a First aid can I get a bar. lightsaber? I mean, all these years, nobody can build a fucking lightsaber already. It would be and then back to, to business. Yeah, there we, well, here we go. Because, like, any night. Right, we get out of my bar. <laughs> 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 what I understand is why Lucas and his brood have not been dragged out by the heels as a racist scum for. Dear Bruce Springsteen. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Dear Bruce, Mr. Bruce Springsteen, Dear Mr. Bruce Springsteen, perhaps you remember me from last year's Tangiers concert in Asbury Park. It's New just Jersey. me, little old me, like the girl I was growing up and listening to your I, songs. I, you, I know that you take fish oil vitamins, just like me. I know you wear Levi's, just and like me. And if you me. could just, just in your busy, busy schedule, even if if you could bring Patty, she'd understand. She is fiery with her. Do it for Clarence. I know he would understand. But I think you saw me. And somehow we clicked. I could come and you could just sing. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I love you. Always the best, Jenny. <laughs> Wait, so what is it? Okay, so the main three, Star Wars, Empire, Jedi. And then what were the next three with... And if Star Wars is actually called The New Hope. It's the actual name. Oh. But what were the... How many have we had now? The three prequel... Nine plus a solo movie plus Rogue One. So technically 11 Star Wars movies. What was Rogue One about again? Some chick. Did it have anything to do with anything? She shot some stuff up and Chris Isaac or somebody like... The, what's his name? Isaac Chris? Isaac Hayes? Right. <laughs> 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 Rogue Isaac One stars Hayes. Isaac Hayes and Jar Jar Binks as Forrest Whitaker. I know what we missed. Uh, 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 uh. It's, it's time, time for The Moss Report. Report. Hi, everybody. This is The Moss Report for April 29th, a beautiful Monday in sunny Hudson, New York. And I'm with, at Moto Coffee Shop on Warren Street having a really chill time, drinking some Sencha tea, and talking to my friends who own Lab Space Gallery. Introduce yourselves. I'm Ellen. Hi, I'm Julie. Ellen and Julie have taken over Lab Space in Hillsdale, and they have a super cool gallery, and I want them to tell you all about their mission. Our mission is to show artists that we really like. Yeah, that's true. And uh, anything else besides that? And to bring people together. Yeah. Artists together. This is the Moss Report continued. And I have decided to leave Modo Cafe in Hudson and come out to Hillsdale to see lab space for myself. I'm sitting in my car and I'm listening to The Clash and I'm gonna go out and see the amazing sculptures of Stuart Farmery that are colorful and shiny and they're in the yard here uh, at lab space in Hillsdale. And I'm walking up to the garden. I see that Crossroads Cafe is upstairs. Lab space is open Saturdays and Sundays, one to, one to five, and by appointment. And I know they're going to have an event soon because I'm supposed to do sound for it. And I'm looking in the window, and the show looks amazing. Anyway, this is the Moss Report. Bye. Okay. All right. Uh, next so week. next week, we have a great night of... Julie Gottlieb and the Berkshire Jazz Collective. It is consisting of Benny Cohen, Andrew, another name I can't Orba. say, Orba. Yep. 
and um, be, Connor Meehan. Isn't it Andy's first time playing here somehow? It is. That's cool. Yes, it is. We've so to get really excited about that. Julia has a great voice. Um, first time she'll be singing in the barn. Everyone come out for that. Ten bucks. Great show. And, and on then Friday, Wanda, Wanda, Wanda Houston, Houston back in the barn on Friday the 10th. So it's going to be like Guantanamera. That's it. Barcast so number nine done. Barcast number nine. Dear Jenny, funny you should ride me on this cold, dark spring night. I've been thinking about you since I saw your cherubic face at the Tangiers Blues show in Asbury Park. Now, I do eat my fish oil, and I do love the working man, and I do love the idea of coming to see you there in that little barn of yours.